2014 sees us for the first time in many years have free development of an engine from, from a clean sheet of paper. And for sure that's going to bring a level of variation of power between the various engine manufacturers that makes the engine a much more important competitive factor uh, in 2014 than it has been in recent years. But the rules on aerodynamics are also very new. The rate of development that we will have aerodynamically through the season will be very steep and the importance of aerodynamics to the championship is going to be at least as important as the differences in power levels between the various engine manufacturers. However, if I actually had to choose a thing that was likely to be the dominant factor for the whole season, I would choose neither the level of power nor the aerodynamic development. I would say that this year reliability is going to be absolutely fundamental. Everyone, every engineer who works in Formula One is privileged. We work with uh, quality of people absolutely of the top level. We work with uh, equipment and tools that are from the front rank. So we're all very fortunate all the time. However, this year we've had the additional pleasure from an engineering perspective of being able to start with a clean sheet of paper, a completely new project, a complex and difficult project, and to be able to design from nothing the entire layout of a very difficult and complex car. That, for an engineer, is like Christmas every day. However, saying that it's a pleasure we also have to remember that it's been very, very difficult as well. And the difficulty doesn't stop at the start of the season. We've got races ahead of us, and that difficulty will continue through every race as we try to make sure that we keep improving the car through the year. In Formula One, everything is always a fight. You fight at every level, managing projects, uh, trying to find small developments on the car, investing in your people, investing in the infrastructure in the factory and it's a continuous process however I'm lucky to have arrived here at Ferrari at the end of a period of very heavy investment in the tools that we have in the factory big investment in the wind tunnel big investment in the uh, in all of the dynos that we use for developing the engine and that investment is going to see Ferrari set fair to to prosper in 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 the coming period as long as we the workers at Ferrari, the engineers at Ferrari work well to make the most of the opportunities we've been given with the investment that's been made.